Hiya, welcome back to my channel. Many thanks for stopping by. I hope you had a lovely, lovely Easter break bank holiday. I chilled as much as I possibly could. I um, enjoyed it, I did, because I knew once the bank holiday was over and done with, it would have been back to the drawing board. So it was really nice to just chill and have that extra you know a couple of days the good friday and the easter monday to just you know relax it was lovely so i hope yours was good as well but what i'm coming on to say today or to share i should say is that i would like to do a memory dex series so I thought about it and I thought, let me get out all of my scrapbook paper pads and go through them and see what I can use to make the memory decks cards. I believe they're four inches wide by three and a quarter taller i believe so but i'm going to check that and i will definitely um, give you the exact measurements what i have done so far this paper pad i have had for many years these as well i've had there's nothing new here um i've had these for about two years or two and a half years and this is about five years if not a bit more um i'm not quite sure if it's got its date on it but this is the authentic uh, paper pad i really really like this paper pad and these are the stickers that you peel off and they're really good cardstock as well they're nice and thick and also there was another sheet like this but it was the cut apart so i cut those apart i can use these as tags these are really really pretty and these spell out spring the word spring so it's s p r i n g the spring and this was part of the cover of the paper pad and I just cut these out because I think they're so sweet and I didn't want to um, chuck it away and basically this is just a mini a mini image of this actual sheet this sticker sheet so I did that and these are they're double sided these are double all double sided really really nice and so i just thought i would try and use these up as well really really nice i have to keep i have to stop saying that really really nice but they are they are really nice let's, let's do the other side so, i like this butterflies chevron this is nice um damask they call that <laughs> yeah damask they call that the damask um, roses, circles, dots, circles. This is really pretty. There's the roses, and this one's a pretty one. And that's that. So I really like that, and I'm going to try and make the most of of it. Now these. As I was saying, these are single-sided and uh, these I would like to cut out 
and make the memory decks cards out of these I'm gonna fussy cut so pretty those two are nice as well see they're separated this is nice for autumn oh this is beautiful the lavender field and these are really nice for the memory decks This is lovely. These are good as well. So these are all the ones that I'm going to cut apart. Those two are nice. And it's cute. <laughs> really, really nice. This is beautiful. I like that. And there's some more here. Cut apart. It's wonderful. This reminds me of Archie when he has his uh, his hair cut. Love that, the feathers. And this is really, really nice. And that one's that. And this one, absolutely adorable. Isn't it? These are lovely. pretty so pretty and this as well so I'm gonna cut them apart these are really nice for tags beautiful love that Ooh. You can cut those in for whatever again more so that's what I'm going to do oh look at this beautiful hamster it's gorgeous and uh, panda bear really really pretty so I want to start using them up now because I'm just they're just here sitting down doing nothing and because I I like to do more than one or two crafts at a time i just thought let me get something else on the the road to rebel going <laughs> this one is pretty this one's for summer very nice so i just thought i'd give you a quick look through before i get started I bought my memory decks um, the the roller quite a while back and um, uh, one of my lovely subscriber friends here got me some of the rubbers for it from scrapbook.com and sent them to me very nice so this will be for the summer so we can put this one down for a little while and get back to it when the weather starts picking up for the summer I'll put this one over here and I've got this one again I've had this goodness me um, this is the American craft lucky charm I have had this it, it, about six, seven years now. I really have had this that long. And I'm going to use these for cutter parts as well. See, these ones are brilliant for cutter parts. And that's what I will do. The mason jars as well. This one, I'm not quite sure. I've had this about the same, about, oh gosh, seven years, six, seven years, about seven years, yeah. This one's really, really nice. I've used this in the past. I've used some of it already, as you can see. And 
you know, really nice. I'm going to really use them up now because they're just sitting here doing nothing. Um, some of them I might not be, they might be just too big for the um, memory decks. But I'm going to try and make use of them somehow. Maybe my glue book, yeah, or my junk journal. I do want to start a new glue book. So, you know, there's, there's lots to be had. Really, there is. And I think we'll get started on this one. Let's get this out. I'll fussy cut those while I'm watching TV. And I am going to keep these strips as well. Let's have a look, see if there's anything else I can cut apart. These, I'm going to strip these as well. I think I might as well take them out while I'm here. I had two sheets of these. I really used these up. I did. I made use of those. One of those sheets. I'll just keep one jar out. One sheet of the mason's jar out for now. I think... And I'm going to use up the my six by six and and the smaller ones. I've got some nine by sevens or something that I want to use up as well. So I will use those up. Once I get these all out, then I can. And I know what I'm going to do with them. This is amazing. I like this. I'm going to keep this for a junk journal or something that has to go somewhere. I'm going to be a very busy girl. I'm looking forward to that. is nice for the summer as well I might as well take this out while I'm here but I will put it aside for the summer beautiful love that Just thinking I can actually scan some of them and make them a bit smaller because they're really going to be based around the memory decks cards right so that's two let's get down to And this is going to be a series. I'm not rushing anything. I like to take my time. I'm going to take this out and fussy cut it. Actually, I'll leave this for now. I will leave this for now. Yeah, I'm going to take my time. So it's going to be a series. I'm not rushing into anything. hate rushing things. 
I've stopped doing that now. Brushing. I mean, this would look nice in a frame, but it's not sort of my style to put on the wall of my home. So lovely. I might have to fussy cut some of these. So whenever I go to my little local shop where I get all my cleaning supplies, they've got everything under one roof. Household, craft supplies, all, all sorts, electricals. I always look to see if they've got any more of these. These are from B&M in the UK. And I don't think I've got anything else that can fit. Let's see if I can... These are really nice. I like this. This is really nice. This is... This is good for interest. I like that. No point wasting them, eh? And... Uh, see what can fit. I I think I will leave this one and see how things go. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave this one and see how I go. See, all these little bits will fit nicely on. On a memory dex card. Nice. Okay, and that is that for now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to speed up the process with this. I'll put a little bit of music on and speed up the process while I'm cutting them out. This one's for fussy cutting, so I'll leave that over here with the stickers and the other bits. And I will get on with these. So I will put some music on and grab yourself a cup of tea, coffee, your favourite tipple and we'll get started.
Okay, right. All of them are cut up so far. I've done the envelopes and I can just snip off what I need at any given time. And I've done those long ones. These can be cut up at any given time for whatever purpose I need them for. And I did cut off some of the strips that I'm going to keep. I have... And as well, these all these are done, and I can, as I said, cut them at any given time. It's just so beautiful. Let's put those pets there. Yeah. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And these are, I can cut these up at any given time as well. Just can do it together. Really, really nice. These ones, these could be for journaling cards these ones as well but I can always cut them up and do whatever I want with them depending on the project and then I've done all the squares so those are done mission accomplished I left um, the summer one to do with the other summer paper pad that I've got and I left this one I can just cut those up while I'm watching TV or something slice those up in a trimmer while I'm watching TV or something or listening to a podcast I'm gonna fussy cut these as well while I'm just relaxing but I'm really really happy with everything so far Right, so I've had this for about two and a half years. Could have been, could be longer. And I, one of my besties and also subscriber had purchased these for me from scrapbook.com and sent them on to me in the UK this these are to put on these these are the stoppers to stop the the cards just rolling around uncontrollably so that's that i'm happy to have those and i will be getting really really busy oh, i must um glue this box back up until i'm ready to use it but that's my series that I'm going to embark on. I hope you will join me and continue to encourage me to create more paper crafts. And that is my take for today my part one for today and I hope you enjoyed it I really do because I did and I can't wait to get started I really can't if you did like this video I really would appreciate a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos take care of your good selves and I will see you back really really soon bye for now